White Chicks is an absolute classic of a film and to think that this thing released about two decades ago is crazy. I remembered watching it when I was younger but I forgot some of the jokes and to be fair I think I caught the end part of it one time on the TV. So on the hunt for new movies to review I came across this one and damn this whole was funny as hell. I know I'm saying the obvious and this entire video is going to be me preaching to the choir here but let me have this one. Everything from the chemistry, the jokes and the overall fun of this film gives it so much rewatchability. Another thing I've got to say is that similar to the Rush Hour movies you couldn't make these types of films nowadays because damn this generation is far too sensitive for it. There was a scene when Marcus and Kevin while disguised as the white chicks were riding around in the car with some of their friends. Now while this seems innocent at first, this was one of the times in which they both forgot that there were white women and not six foot black dudes. So they were fumbling over the words for Vanessa Carlton's song A Thousand Miles. However, when a rap song came on, they jammed to it with full confidence even saying the n-word which had me dying laughing. Of course the other white girls in the car were obviously shocked and told them that they couldn't say that. After hit the guys that they were white, one of them made a defense saying that no one else was around so that they were fine to say it. Right after this point, the rest of the white girls join in and start rapping along with them, even saying the n-word as well, which I found funny as hell to be honest. For as many jokes as the film had, there was a great balance between the jokes and trying to tell a coherent story. Because I feel that sometimes the focus can get swayed in one direction or the other. One of my favourite scenes came in when the girls were in the change rooms and Kevin was with one of the girls changing. In it, she asks him of his opinion of how she looks. For a split second, he breaks and says, you look so sexy with a lip bite. You would expect her to question that, but instead she goes on a full on meltdown. In it, she refers to herself as Cellulite Sally and my personal favorite, Taina the Talking Tummy. <laughs> Dog, she was so dramatic, but sold that performance so well. This is a pretty good depiction of how dramatic women can be sometimes. <laughs> on the other hand, there was Marcus who was being handed new clothes by the store manager while on the phone with his wife. This is important because she was checking up on him only to have it sound like he was smashing the lady he was talking to. Dude, there are so many other good things like that, but if I was to talk about all of them, we'd be here all day. I'd say besides the Waynes brothers, the standout star is definitely Terry Crews' character, Latrell Spencer. I promise to you, there wasn't a single moment that this brother was up on the big screen that didn't have me rolling. Terry is absolute gold and he deserves every bit of praise for this role. Everything from his facial expressions, mannerisms, lines and absurdity made this film that much better. When he was introduced at the auction, he had me crying with how far he was willing to go to buy Marcus and with all his thirsty attempts. I gotta say that my favourite scene of him was towards the end. But at this point, the bad guy had been busted and the brother's covers had been blown. Marcus lets Latrell know that he wasn't the white lady that he thought he was. Latrell cuts him off midway, only a comment, Wait, so you're telling me that you're not- Yeah, I'm not a woman. What? <laughs> Dog, I swear I was crying for a solid two to five minutes after he said this. I normally don't like rewatching movies because either they lose the mystery or charm to them. However, in the case of White Chicks, it never lost that and I'm adding it to my list of movies to rewatch for sure. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your favorite moments from the film and what it means to you. I'm curious to find out. Stay tuned for the next video and this is Black Sugar Lovin' out.